chiclet sleep? Time for a snack. Wait a minute. Did I have a snack and forget about it? Hmm, Sam! I'm coming! What? What is all this mess? Why is it always me when there's a mess? Who did it then? Well, uh, there! Tater tots! It's you who's been throwing things around and took my notebook too. I've been searching for it for two days. Silence, huh? Sam, I doubt it's Tater Tots. She's been living with us for a long time and she's never made a mess. Then who? No idea. Oh! <laughs> Then it's definitely not Tater Tots, and not me! I see. Sue, Sue, something's moving in the pillows! <coughs> oh, it's a hamster! Come here, little one! You're too gentle with her after everything she's done here! Well, it looks like this hamster has a lot of energy if she's made all this mess. And while we're thinking what to do with her, we need to entertain her. I can do that! <coughs> <laughs> no, Sammy, I meant a different thing. You'll see. Didn't you forget something? Uh, oh, I don't think so. Was I supposed to bring something? Oh, Sam, you need to say hi. Oh! Hi, guys. I'm sorry. I'm just so happy to have a new animal in our house that I even forgot my own name. I'll never believe that you forgot your own name. It happens. But I do have a reminder for that. Here! I see that you're ready for anything. Are you ready to help me? Sure. Only tell me what we're going to do, and I'll start helping right away. Doesn't this remind you of anything? Huh. Uh, I think it does. Oh, it's right on the tip of my tongue. It starts with an L. La, 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 la. No, Sam, it's not a song. It's a labyrinth. Oh, right. Tater Tots has a labyrinth. So the hamster will have one, too? Yep. She needs a labyrinth with all kinds of different obstacles to spend her unstoppable energy. Awesome! Guys, give a thumbs up if you saw the video where we made a labyrinth for Tater Tots! Right, the base for the labyrinth is done, but we also need to make an obstacle course. So which obstacles will our hamster face? Different things, revolving doors, a ladder, fences, a seesaw. A seesaw? Oh, I know I can make it, can I? Sure, here you go. Got it, I'm off. And I'll start with making a ladder out of wooden skewers. Here, I have a template to guide me. I'll place the long sticks on the sides, one side, and the other one neatly and I'll glue small sticks over them. Susie, a question for you. Yes? Where do hamsters come from? Oh, well, I don't know, maybe Europe? Almost. Hamsterdam! Hamsterdam? Oh, I get it. <laughs> but the real question is, where did this hamster come from? Maybe she ran away from the neighbors? As far as I know, our neighbors don't have hamsters, but it could be. I'll ask later. It'll be better if you leave her. Oh, Sam, we already have so many animals. The more, the merrier. Guys, do you agree? Well, we'll see. Right, the ladder is done. I'll glue it in place. An awesome ladder. The hamster will love going up, I'm sure. But it's only one obstacle. We'll continue. Here, we're going to have revolving doors. It's very easy to make them. You'll take a straw and glue four blades to it. Huh. Ah. <sighs> Sam, what are you doing? That hamster keeps taking our food. She looks so serious, I'm afraid to approach her. Taking food? Well, hamsters are thrifty animals. Some species of hamsters can stash up to 90 kilos of food. They can't eat that much in their life! They're so small! It's an instinct. Well, my YouTube channel star instincts are telling me that people are subscribing out there and hitting the bell button while we're creating. That's wonderful. And I've made this revolving door. We need four. Voila! I'll glue them in our labyrinth. Done! Now glue the seesaw in! I've worked so hard on it. A wonderful seesaw. Ta-da! <laughs> Let's glue it here. Glue it well. Make sure it doesn't fall apart. Can it fall apart? Well, I didn't check. Don't worry. It won't. 
there. Looks great! Right, Sam. Go inflate this balloon while I add a few more obstacles. Inflate a balloon? Well, well, fine. I'll add these colorful fences. I'm sure the hamster will easily overcome them. If she managed to make all that mess, she shouldn't have trouble with these obstacles. Inflate a balloon. Oh, I'm kind of scared. What if it blows up right in my face while I'm inflating it? Guys, do you like inflating balloons? Write in the comments. Fine, I'll inflate it. Anything for your new friend, Hamster. And one more obstacle here. It's almost a tunnel. La -da, la -da, la -da. Thank you, Sammy. The balloon is the last element. Let's place it here. Is this an entrance? Yes, and here's the exit. And the last detail. We'll add these little cushions. Now we only need to close the labyrinth with transparent plastic. Did you remember to make holes in the plastic to make sure the hamster has enough air? Of course I did. That's a very important moment. The hamster will have enough air. Done! Invite the hamster, quick! In you go, little one. Have fun. Aww. Come on, hamster. You need to go up. Do you see the ladder? Up, up. Our hamster is very small, so I'll help her a little bit. Oh, she has the whole labyrinth to explore and she's grooming herself. Sue, really, what's going on? Why won't she move along the ladder, even horizontally? Let me help her a little bit more. Yay! Hey, now we're talking. Yes, yes. Right here. Good job. She passed the tunnel. Now she needs to figure out those revolving doors. Oh, come on. Oh, oh, she's doing it. She's doing it. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh. I hope she didn't hurt herself. No, don't worry. The cushion softened the fall. Ah, uh, she did well with these fences. Okay, one more revolving door. Come on, you know what to do. Go. And yes. Yay. Oh, hey, I think she liked my seesaw. Yeah, I think so too. Oh, wow, and she was quick with that revolving door. Now comes the balloon, a difficult obstacle. Oh, no, 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 no. Go back, go back. You can do it. Go, go. No, not back. Forward. Come on. We believe in you, little hamster. You know what to do with the balloon. Susie, look. She punctured the balloon. Oh, awesome. Go, hamster. Go. Go, go, go. Come on. The last obstacle. Yes. Well done. Oh, that's it. That's it. Go to the exit. Oh, she found the exit! Clever girl. Yeah! <laughs> Even though our hamster couldn't go up the ladder, she's absolutely awesome to overcome a labyrinth like that! Yes, now she can wander around here instead of ruining our house. I'll go find out whose hamster this is. Our... What? Well, we are going to keep her, right? Sam! Guys, guys, give a thumbs up if you want the hamster to stay. If we get the video to 10,000 thumbs up, I'll convince you to keep the hamster. See you soon! And don't forget to share this video with all your friends who love animals. Sam, the matter is settled. But just look how cute they are. Let's take at least a small one. Yay! We got a dog! 
I wonder how she got into our house, Sue. Well, somebody was taking the trash out and left the door open again. But now we've got a dog! And who's going to walk her or feed her? Oh, no, no. You're going to feed her. See what she did to a plush toy? What if she eats me too? Oh, what are we going to do with you, girl? I can't really send you out into the street. Well, I think I've got an idea. Come on! To make sure our dog doesn't stay hungry, we'll make her a dog food dispenser. First, I'll need a piece of cardboard. And I'll draw a few marks on it. This craft isn't difficult, but it requires precision. And a few more. And connect them. And a few more lines. To make it a trapeze shape. Now we need to cut it out neatly. Remember to be careful when you work with a cutter. Guys, Sue won't allow me to keep the dog! Let's ask her to do it in the comments. If there are many, many comments, the dog will stay with us! We'll need four pieces like this. Now we need to glue them together. The hot glue gun is a perfect thing for crafting, but be very careful with it. Now we'll place the pieces to form a funnel. Sue, what if our viewers ask us in the comments to keep the dog? First, I'll read all of the comments and then we'll think about it. Guys, everything depends on you! Let's set it aside. And cut this wooden stick into several small pieces. Pieces like these. Now let's pair the pieces and glue them together. Now, I'll apply some hot glue and attach these pieces to the base securely, like this. Two on the sides, and two in the front. Sue, may I train our dog? Oh, Sam, just be careful so she doesn't confuse you with a gummy. Let's see. Oh, this is exactly what I need. Hey, doggy, Here you are. What are you doing here? I see you're doing important dog stuff. Got it. Perhaps you'd like to be trained. Huh? Fetch! Hey. Oh, that's not right. You were supposed to bring the ball to me. So, running away, huh? And sitting on the couch, too? Now Sue isn't gonna keep you. Aw, oh, don't worry. I won't tell her about the couch. Hi! Huh? You steal toys and won't even give me a high five? Give Sam your paw! Paw, please! Give me your paw! Now we need a piece of plain paper and a pencil. Let's roll it up like this. Nice and tight. The tube should be sturdy enough. And now I can take the pencil out. Now let's secure the tube on both sides. Now we'll use the hot glue gun and attach this piece of cardboard to one end of the tube. Like this. Let's attach wooden sticks to it as well. Give me your paw! Paw! Sue, what age do dogs start obeying commands? Well, I don't know. It depends on the trainer. <laughs> oh, I get your hint. Now we need to connect two pieces and attach these small rubber bands. Right, let's test it! <gasps> it works! Let's start assembling the main structure. I'll apply some glue to the bottom, along two sides. Our machine is about 26 centimeters high. Remember, it should be sturdy enough. We'll place the funnel on top. I've made an opening for the handle in one of the walls. Now let's glue one more wall with an opening. And insert the slide for dog food. <gasps> no! We've forgotten to give our dog a name! What name do you have in mind? Well, for example, the sweetest, prettiest, best dog in the world. <laughs> Imagine calling her that in the street. <laughs> I haven't thought of that. Let's ask our viewers to help us with it. Oh, that's a great idea! Guys, let's come up with the coolest name for our new friend together! Write your names in the comments! The name that gets the most likes will become the name of this cutie. 
Let's prepare a jar with dog food. I'll fill it almost to the top. We need to glue a cardboard piece on top. Like this in the corners. Now it's time for a very crucial task. A crucial task? Yes, assist me. Let's place our machine onto the jar and carefully turn it over. <gasps> wow, awesome! I've prepared these two stickers. Oh, let me help. Here. And here. So let's test our machine! Come on! Come on! Ah, Sue, can I give it a try? Sure! Now you're responsible for feeding her! Oh yay! Awesome! Oh Sue, what if she learned to push the button herself? <laughs> let's hope she doesn't burst! Guys, did you like our machine? Give a thumbs up if you want more life hacks for pets! Don't forget to subscribe to the channel! Bye bye <laughs>
Are you still cutting the cardboard? I am, Sam. I think it's the last piece of our structure. Now we're going to start assembling the giant cat labyrinth. Finally! I thought it would take you a whole week! Start gluing! Before we start gluing, we need to fold several pieces, like this. Let me fold something too! No! Careful, Sam. No need to rush. We need the biggest labyrinth for the world records! You won't manage it on your own. Everything's under control, Susie! All the pieces are ready. Time to start assembling! All the pieces should be glued together neatly and securely. Sam, bring me the draft. Here! Take a good look and don't forget to make the exit. A labyrinth must always have an exit. <laughs> Did you think I could forget? I'm trying to help. You could say thank you. Sam, do you want to help me for real? Yes! What do I need to do? Draw, start, and finish to make sure Fluffy doesn't get lost. Oh, I thought it was going to be a serious task. Fine, I will. Start. Uh, it's a bit lopsided. I'll try again. Start. Uh, what? S-T-A-R-T! Uh, uh, I'll go print the word out. <laughs> Sue won't notice. <laughs> the cleverest Sam, the slyest slime. Guys, if you have ideas for a mini labyrinth, write them in the comments. I'm getting tired of this one. Ugh, we don't need a mini labyrinth, we need a record! Okay, I'm doing my best. Did you make the signs? Sue, here! It looks like they were drawn by a printer, not Sam. Doesn't matter, it's still pretty. Phew, we're almost done with the labyrinth. Here goes the last wall. Fluffy fit in here! <laughs> you did, so... Come here, buddy. It's ready! Let him in! Go, Fluffy! We believe in you! Fluffy seems a little puzzled. He wants to get out the easiest way. <laughs> no, no, no. You'll have to figure it out, buddy. Go, Fluffy, go! Go, Fluffy, go! He starts to move forward. <laughs> he looks like a snake here. Huh. <laughs> he doesn't look for the easiest solutions, does he? Clever Fluffy passes the first part. He continues. Huh. Do you think he can smell the way out? I don't know. Could be. He's building a new strategy. Hey, <laughs> no! Go back, clever one. Fluffy, come on! You can find the real exit! Yes, yes, you're almost there, buddy! Come on! Is he lost? Uh, he'll manage. He's thinking real hard. And he's moving forward. Just a bit more! <laughs> Aw, Fluffy, you did great. Here's your just dessert. You are a champion, my friend. Guys, I'm announcing a contest. What do you need to do? First, give this video a thumbs up. Second, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button. Third, write an awesome idea for a new labyrinth in the comments. Sam and I will select the most awesome idea and make a video with it. Bye-bye, guys. See you soon.
Dog cookie. <gasps> Don't touch that sweater. <sighs> Guys, as you might have already guessed, we've named this adorable naughty pug Cookie. Because everyone loves cookies! Well, it's not just that, Sam. The idea for this name came up most often in our viewers' comments. And the dog seems to love it. Oh, yes! Thank you, friends! We wouldn't have managed without you! But now we have a fresh problem! How to make this feisty lady behave? She keeps stealing our things! That's right! Cookie stole my earphones today and she doesn't even listen to music! Cookie, what's up with you? How can we set you on an honest path? So I think I understand why she's stealing. Look here, I've got this hat. And? And you've got that sweater. Yes, so what? But does Cookie have any <sighs> Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Of course! Come! Coming, Sammy! You're gonna use that? Why not? Our pet deserves only the best. Uh, I agree, Principal, but this sweater is really new! Since when have you become so thrifty? Well, we've got lots of pets. Are we going to ruin sweaters for each of them? Sam, if you don't want to help, come on and say it. <gasps> I'll do everything myself, just stay out of the way. We should have thought of it earlier. I hope she likes what's become of my sweater. <laughs> but it's not your sweater. What does it matter now? Look at her. She adores it. Well, Cookie, now you've got your own mini sofa. Way cool. Guys, we need your advice. What else should we DIY for Cookie? Write your ideas in the comments and we'll try out the most popular ones. In the meantime, I'll try to make something out of my old hat. So, I was thinking, can I make a scratcher for Cookie? Out of my hairbrush? Forget it. Okay, can I use this one instead? Sam, just leave my combs alone, okay? Okay, I'll have to borrow Fluffy's then. <laughs> just don't be surprised when Fluffy lends his fur for your candy. big enough to make a dress for you. Would you like one? Hey, let's see if Cookie's sweater fits for a start. Okay, I was going to do just that. Ladies and gentlemen, here 
there's Cookie in our brand new outfit. Okay, raise the curtain. <gasps> Getting tired of posing. Just a few more shots. Don't fidget, please. <gasps> I quit. Being a model is such hard work. I mean, I don't even get paid for this. <sighs> well, go ahead and quit if you like. I've got a much nicer model. Cookie, come over here, my darling. Okay, come on. Please look at the camera. Come on, Cookie. <laughs> Cookie. Uh, over here! Cookie! Oh. Ugh, now Sue is forcing Cookie to pose for her. I better go and hide before she grabs hold of me uh, again. Why won't you look at me? Come on, look! Here, girl! Uh, cookie! It's a hypnotizing amulet. Uh, <laughs> I mean, for photos. <sighs> Sue, please don't joke like this again, okay? I'm not joking. Since Cookie refuses to look at the camera, I have to try to outwit her. Yeah, well, I can only wish Cookie lots of patience. Uh, no need to be scary. It'll be really cool. All right, Cookie. Where are you? Come here. Look, Cookie. <gasps> Good girl. <laughs> yes. Silly invention, Sue actually forgot to feed Cookie! Time to put things right. I'm going to cook a lavish meal for my favorite doggy. Ah, okay, more M&Ms. Oh, perhaps she prefers Skittles! Yeah, 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 more, more! Oh! Let's not forget the whipped cream. The final touch! Wow! It came out even better than I thought! Magnificent! Oh! I've turned the whole house upside down searching for this mold! Now that we've filled the molds, let's put them in the fridge for a couple of hours. Looks like our treats are ready! Check out those dog-themed shapes! Cookie will love them for sure! <sighs> Guys, I don't get it! What kind of foods do dogs like to eat? If you have a dog, please write in the comments about its favorite dishes! 
Lucky! Look what I've got here for you! Yum! <laughs> yeah! <gasps> oh, she eats them with such gusto! Is she just hungry or does she really like treats? <laughs> Good girl! Have you got any fresh life hacks for Cookie? Don't forget to share them in the comments! For instance, I gave Sue a wonderful dog toy idea. Here it is! Uh, I haven't heard any ideas from you yet. Hey, I made you a whole diagram in the manual. Oh, yes. Uh, they're perfectly easy to understand. <laughs> You've hurt my artistic feelings. Come on, great artist. Let's try to turn your doodles into reality. Yay! Cookie will have a new toy! And so will I. <laughs> Finished it after all. Sam, have I ever failed to put your ideas into practice? Well, I could give you a few examples, but I won't. <gasps> can I play with Cookie myself? Oh, of course you can, but I'll keep an eye on both of you. Yahoo! Cookie! Look what I've got for you! Hey! You don't like it? Uh, okay, come on, girl. Um... Fetch! Yeah? Fetch! Oh... Uh-huh. You don't like it, do you? Oh, come on, Cookie, sweetie, please! G give it a try! Please? No. Well, alright, maybe you'll like it later. <laughs> Which idea did you like the most? The couch? The treat? The toy? Or perhaps a sweater made out of a hat? Write in the comments! We love reading your replies! Don't forget to tell your friends about us and to subscribe to our channel! Thank you all! Bye bye Sammy. Looks like the hamsters don't want to be my friends anymore. Oh, why? I wanted to play with them, but they're hiding and don't want to come out. Oh, Sammy. There's nothing wrong with that. Hamsters are night animals. 
Let them sleep now. They'll be active when it's dark, like all rodents. I sleep at night. How am I supposed to play with them? I want to play now. Hmm. If you want, we can make a new labyrinth for them. Then they'll have to move. Yeah, make them a game they'll pay zero attention to. <sighs> you don't get it, Sue. I'll have to figure it out myself. Oh. I'll think of something better. Yes. Yes. Huh. I need to lure them out. I'll show you. Hi, guys. I liked the labyrinth idea, so I'm going to make it. <laughs> Are you with me? Let's take more cardboard. Do you remember the labyrinth for a hamster we made before? The hamster passed it quickly, so let's make a more difficult one now. And we actually have two hamsters now. We'll need double layer flexible cardboard. <laughs> Look, this is fun. Let's secure it with glue. Remember to be careful with hot glue. We can paint all the parts in advance. Let's insert one ring into the other. Ugh, I've got so many ideas for this labyrinth. Oh, why didn't Sammy support me? He makes crafting so much more fun. Will you dare ignore such a big company? We've gathered here for you. Shh. Huh, come on. Uh, look who's here. He knows so many interesting games. <laughs> uh, ooh, here's a new guest. Just look how pretty he is. You could at least say hi. It's simply rude. Why so disrespectful? It feels more like a mutiny. Guys, did you subscribe to our channel? Make sure to subscribe if you like hamsters, slimes, and other cute creatures. However, these decorations are mostly for surprising Sam. Hamsters are colorblind. They can't tell colors apart. We need to measure the diameter of our cylinder. There. Then divide it by two to get a radius. Be very careful with the sharp part of the compass. A compass is a very handy tool for drawing circles. Have you ever used a compass before? You better ask an adult to help you, especially when you cut out the openings. Go slowly, then you'll get the best results. We'll glue these parts on both sides of the cylinder. And voila! It looks like an Imperial fighter from Star Wars, right? Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> now let's carefully make an opening in the future side wall of the labyrinth. I'll also add a small hole next to the opening. After making the first labyrinth, I feel much more confident with this one. By the way, where's my large cutout circle? <gasps> Found it! And now, time to insert the screw. And we get an entrance. Oh, I wish I could show this to Sam. I wonder what he's doing. So, mutineers, you can't resist this. I mean, you can try, but... <laughs> Attention, mutineers! Please vacate your hideouts and come out to lunch! <sighs> come on, come to Sammy. Hide's working! I'm a genius! A born leader. What? Not a mutiny, it's a hunger strike. So <laughs> Sue, I'm forced to admit defeat. How are you doing? What's that? Well, I told you I wanted to make a new hamster labyrinth for our active pets. Yeah, active. They're still sleeping. It's okay. They will wake up when they see our labyrinth. These little doors are so adorable. But Sue. We made a labyrinth like that. It's not very popular with them. Oh, but Sam, that labyrinth was very small. It was small even for one hamster, not to mention two. This one will have all this stuff. I don't know, Sue. It's bigger than the previous one, but it doesn't seem much more difficult. And frankly speaking, I doubt that they will ever wake up. No matter what you say, they are so lazy. Oh, Sam, believe me, they're not. When they aren't sleeping, they can do 10 kilometers in one night as they run around the wheel. How much is that? It's... Well, imagine you go from our house to the park and back 10 times. Why should 
should I do that? It's boring. That's why we're making this hamster labyrinth. Let's see what we already have. Here's the net our climbers will use to go up. And here's a wavy path, followed by a narrow passage. There's a ring challenge at the bottom. And I'll glue a door next to it. Our last obstacle. Now we only need to place the ladder in the very beginning of the path. And this adorable tunnel. Even my picture won't make them run the labyrinth. Sam, don't be such a grouch. You're complaining about the hamsters and refuse to notice that you won't play with me. But no, here I am with you. I'm not sleeping. I notice everything. Everything, really. And you're still so grumpy. Just imagine how funny it'll be when our hamsters will be passing all these obstacles. Oh yeah, what's the matter with me? We can form teams and see whose hamster will pass the labyrinth faster. Yes, yes, let's bring our hamsters in. We'll do a hamster race in the labyrinth. Oh, wait, Sammy. We need to make sure it's safe for them. Let's glue these cushions. Safety first, even when we're just playing. For both of us and the hamsters. Though, we should take care of the hamsters. <laughs> Aren't you worried that the hamster will fall asleep when she finds the cushion? The other hamster will crash into her and wake her up. Oh, this will be fun. Let's make a few openings to let fresh air into the labyrinth. It's a very important step, guys. And one more. Aha! There! And the last touch. A transparent glass. Let's attach it carefully. And done! Oh, it's the most amazing hamster labyrinth in the world! Sue, are there labyrinths for slimes? Why not? We can think about that. <laughs> Let's prepare a reward for our hamsters. You know how much they like eating. Oh, yeah! The fun is about to start! Guys, do any of you have hamsters? What toys do they have? Write in the comments! And opening! Come on, get in! Snowy and Hammy too. Have fun! Oh, they woke up indeed! Look at Snowy go! Oh, come on, Hammy! Oh, your friend! She showed you where to go! Oh, come on, come on! Well done! You're doing great! Huh, they must be sharing their impressions. <laughs> Could be. And they continue! It's a real race! Cammy moves to the next level and quickly continues onward. She's sniffing around. Clever girl. Huh, is Snowy still leaping up there? She'll join the fun. She's just resting. Well, fine. And Hemi has moved to the next level. I think the winner is obvious. Huh, maybe Snowy will catch up? I doubt that. Look, look, Hemi has reached my tunnel. Your tunnel? Well, it has my picture on it. <laughs> I'm fine. And the ring challenge. Hemi passes it at great speed, reaches the door, and gets the reward. Well done, Hemi. Sue, Sue, look. Snowy decided to pass the labyrinth, too. <gasps> go, Snowy, go. Go, Snowy, I think go. I she's going to get her reward. Maybe she just wants to find the exit? Well, she's not in a hurry. Oh, no. Wait, I'm wrong. Look at her go. And down the slide. <laughs> Your tunnel is next. Aha, you admit it's mine. Yeah, yeah. Come on, Snowy. There's the last level. Oh, looks like they like the rings most of all. Well done, Snowy! It's a pity I missed most of the craft. But Sammy, we've got so many more crafts waiting for us. Oh yeah! It's awesome! Guys, what do your pets like eating most of all? Write in the comments! And give this video a thumbs up if you liked our hamster race in the labyrinth. We'll make more if we get to 30,000 thumbs up! Subscribe not to miss it! See you soon!
soon just wait a little more. Ugh, okay. When will we start? Very soon. Ooh. <laughs> Susie, it's time! What time, Sammy? Time for hamster craft! All right, Sam! Hi, everyone! Here comes the king of cardboard crafts! Sam! And his magnificent assistant, Sue! Hi, guys! You better move, uh, Your Majesty. I need space for cardboard. <laughs> huh, what are you gonna do? A maze, of course! King of the Hill for hamsters! Wow, that's new. I'm ready to start. What should I do? Oh, your royal highness wants to work? <laughs> well, okay. As you can see, guys, it'll be a two-level maze. If our hamster can conquer it, he will become the real king of the hill. Actually, I am the greatest king. Hmm, try passing the maze like this first, and then we'll talk. Guys, have you ever played the king of the hill game? Comment below. We added some color to remove all doubts that this is a fun game. So, in this case, being the winner's not important? Correct! The main thing about games is having lots of fun and not the actual victory. We just want to make our hamsters happy, right? Uh, I'll need to think about this. And did you think about the obstacles? Yes, almost. I'll be right back. Oh, Sammy, Sammy. And our base is ready. Ta-da! We can move further. Where did Sam go, I wonder? <laughs> Whatever. I'll start working with traditional things like cardboard obstacles. Whoa, what's that sound? Crunching? Josie, I mean, hi, just a moment. Sammy, what are you eating there? We had lunch like a minute ago. I'm preparing material for our maze. What? Uh, okay. I like that we can build any maze we like. But if you make something similar, keep in mind the size of your hamster. Comfort above all. Yeah, yeah, it will be comfortable. I'm working on it. Sammy, why are you covered in crumbs? And why do you smell like chips? Right you are. Here's the material for our maze. A chips can? Wait, did you eat everything? Uh, not everything. I saved some for you. I'm very generous. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> huh, interesting. We'll attach them here and here. Finally! I think I've had enough of this cardboard schmardboard. Sammy, you did crown yourself a cardboard king, didn't you? Um, uh, yeah, but there has to be some variety. That's it! I need to go and think. By the way, guys, if you have ideas for what the obstacles can be made out of, then comment below. And I'll keep gluing the cardboard walls. How do you like this material? A spinner? Oh, it can make a fun revolving door! I love fun! So this heart will come in handy as well. Hey, it's mine! Well, take it if you need it for good reason. Guys, do you remember in which videos we had revolving doors for hamsters? Comment below if you've seen all the hamster videos. Paper roll delivery! Ooh, this is interesting. Well, those toilet paper rolls were just lying around. You taught me to recycle everything. I'm happy, Sammy, that you learned that lesson. Let's glue the rolls right here. They'll be an unusual obstacle for the hamster. Done and done! Wow. Huh, but something, something's still missing. Whoa, I know. Maybe we need ladders, Sammy? But you should still make them. Okay, Sammy, as you say. Actually, I was already going to make some ladders. Otherwise, how is the hamster going to climb up, right? I'm making them from wooden bar pieces. We need to glue them very well so our hamster doesn't fall down. Done! Hmm, what should we do next? Paper shower! <laughs> This is so colorful! Could you place it closer to the exit, please? It'll serve as the finishing tape! Alright, ladder inspection. What do we have here? So, uh huh. Yeah, that works! In the meantime, I'll put our confetti here like this. Only a couple of things left. Here we have the entrance hole for the hamster. And an upper shelf with another hole. 
And here's the exit. I mean, the finishing line. We only have to place the treats around. Yes, yes, we can't do without them. Susie, are you sure our hamster won't fall? To keep him safe, I need a protection sheet. Like this, we fix and fasten it. Susie, Susie, while you were busy with this, I prepared the champion's cup. Amazing, Sammy. For such a prize, one can pass the whole maze. Do you agree, guys? Give a thumbs up if yes. And we start the race. Here is our hero! Go, Ginger! Look, Silly's going great! True, Sammy! Oh, what's wrong, Ginger? Are you afraid of this red heart? Phil, I think he likes the spinner. That was a great idea of mine to have it there. <laughs> Sammy. But he didn't stay there for long anyways. Whoops. Dead end. Be smarter than you think. Go, oh, Ginger! Look! Here's my chips obstacle. Huh. I was wondering if he'd stay there a little longer because of the smell, but looks like he wants to move forward. Just a few more steps to the next level! Yay! Ginger reached the ladder! <laughs> carefully, carefully, don't fall down! Such a good boy! You reached the second ladder, but watch out. It's more tricky. So, Ginger didn't even try to eat the treat! Well, Sam, the most important thing is that he keeps going. Jump! <laughs> Ginger moves like a real gymnast. I taught him that. <laughs> Don't lie to our viewers, Sam. <laughs> uh, you're just jealous. Meanwhile, our hamster is getting closer to the finish. Right you are. Go, go, go! And where'd he go? I can't see him in that green confetti. Look! He escaped the green web! And found another treat! You did awesome, Ginger! Here's our champion! Guys, did you like our video? If yes, then give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And Ginger and I need a run. Bye-bye! <laughs> so you are the king of the hill now. <laughs> we'll see about that. These lions are huge! Uh, Sue, did you hear it too? Last night? Good morning, Sammy. Hear what? I... I didn't get a wink of sleep last night. Oh, you must be talking about Fluffy's night escapades. Ugh. To tell you the truth, I didn't get a good night's sleep either. He was making noise all night long! He was running around the apartment playing with my football! And my shoes! It's... It's outrageous! Ugh. Oh, here's Fluffy. Oh, he's so cute. It's simply impossible to be angry with him. Hey, come here, you naughty boy. Yes, it is possible, Mr. Cat. You are accused of depriving a gorgeous lady in a gorgeous pink slime of sleep. Listen, Sammy, I know you're angry, but cats are nocturnal animals. At night, all our Fluffy's hunting instincts are awakened in him. That's exactly why he doesn't sleep. Why don't they awaken during the day instead? 
Oh, I know. I know! We'll make a toy for Fluffy to hunt during the day, and he'll finally let everyone have a good and peaceful sleep at night. Oh, it's a great idea, Sammy. Although ordinary toys don't really impress our Fluffy. Hmm. Well, uh, then we need to come up with a toy that he'll definitely get interested in. Huh. Right, let it be something from wild nature. For our kitty to be able to develop his hunting instinct. Dude, do you have any idea how we can make such a toy? I think so. I know what we're going to be doing today. Let's get to business. Oh yeah, let's get to business. Hey guys, today we'll be making a toy that can melt any cat's heart. Oh, I sure hope so. Hey Sammy, don't you want to say hello to the viewers? All right, hi everyone, hey guys. For starters, we'll need a big piece of cardboard, a ruler, a cutter, and uh, I don't get it, where is it? Oh no, Sammy, I can't find the pencil. Here, just be gentle with it, okay? It's my favorite pencil. Okay, okay, Sam, thanks for the help. I'm always happy to help, Susie. By the way, what are we making here? <laughs> it's high time you know, Sammy. It will be a whack-a-mole game for cats. Wow, that's my favorite game. I know what you mean, Sammy. I hope Fluffy will like it too. I've already made the marks here. See these X's? We'll have to draw lines from one to the other. Two, what if Fluffy doesn't like our idea? Why do you think so, Sam? I don't know, he generally doesn't like cat toys. But we're making no ordinary toy here. That's true, we are making the coolest cat toy ever. Also remember, last time around we made a toy for Fluffy, he loved it back then. Labyrinth, it was a cat labyrinth. Right Sammy, do you remember it guys? If you saw us make the labyrinth, be sure to comment and tell us, or maybe you even tried making one yourselves. Okay, so it's time to cut our game out. Mind the numbers here. Be careful with the knife, guys. You can ask adults for help. Don't you worry, guys. I'm always keeping an eye on Susie. <laughs> right. That's why we don't ever have any incidents. Here's what we've got now. Now we're going to put together our game mechanism. Hmm. I think we need more of these guys here. Sammy! Got you, Susie! Thank you, Sammy. What would I do without you? You can ask adults to do it for you. There we go. See why we marked up our piece of cardboard? Now we have to make as many rods as we've drawn lines here. Da, da, na, na. Raw materials delivery sign here, please. <laughs> wow, what's this? Thank you, it's right on time. I love slime delivery. Don't mention it, Sue. You know, I was thinking, why does Fluffy need a hunting instinct if he doesn't really live in wild nature? I mean, he doesn't really need to hunt, but only your sneakers. Yeah, he definitely likes that. It's a good question you're asking, Sammy. Maybe the hunting instinct is so strong a domestic cats that cats just can't help following it. Strong instincts. By the way, did you know that ancestors of present-day domestic cats made friends with the ancient people thanks to their skills of catching mice and other pests? Many cats bring mice and birds home nowadays too, surprising their owners big time. So let's see what we've got here. And now I'm going to use this metal rod. Look, we'll have nuts here. Speaking of nuts, where are they? Sammy, don't you know? <gasps> What's going on? Experienced goalkeeper Susan is in the goal. Oh. Ah, Susie's trying to catch the ball, but Sam avoids her and goal! Yummy. Why, what is it? Just admit that you missed the goal. How could I miss it if I wasn't even playing? Oh, come on, Sue. It can happen to anyone. Oh, Sammy, you're such a restless slime. Pink slime with a sweet tooth. Well, at least you never get me bored. Okay, after all, the most important thing is that you did help me. Now we'll make this construction move. Just a sec, one moment. Almost done. Well, what did I tell you? Look, Sammy. Guys, you'll have to do the same to each stick. Wow, 
now. Can I try it later? Sure, Sammy. And now we'll need the following pieces. We'll use them to secure our rods. Yes, right. You just keep going here. I want to make sure that this game for Fluffy actually works. So, this is the last one. I'm sure that he'll be grateful to you, you know. Well, we are done here. We just need to arrange the nuts and you'll be able to get to testing it. Finally! I can't wait! Just a moment. And voila! Wow! I really like it! Time to get to the most interesting part! Wow! Well, it's time to make the… um… moles proper. We are going to make several dolls now that Fluffy is going to hunt. I want to make dolls! I want to make dolls! Sure, sure. Why don't you bring this mole to life? Oh, I'll do it just like that. Easy. Okay. Uh -huh. and da -da -da -da. Hey, don't look yet! Okay, okay. I'll finish mine in the meantime. Here. Ready! Wow! They are so different. Ha, it's just that my mole is a very strong and scary opponent. I don't doubt it for a sec. We already have holes made in our balls. And you guys should ask adults to help you with that. So the first mole is ready. To make other dolls, we used all kinds of little items. I'm sure you'll find something to use too. Huh, they say you have hunting instincts. Sam, it's all ready. Oh, I'll be right there. Whoa, this is super cool. Awesome. Oh, I love it. I'm glad you like it, Sammy. It's time to line up our game with walls. Hop, and it's done. We are really close to the finish line here, guys. We'll need these kind of PVC pipes and a cardboard part with holes in it for all the toys. Now we're going to make a remote control for our game. Wow, remote control sounds really cool. Right, Sammy. And these pipes will guide our buttons. Like this. We'll need fabric with holes in the middle to hide the moles from our fluffy. Okay. Guys, what do you think? Do I look good in this outfit? <laughs> Sammy, one can never get bored with you. I'm always here to serve. Almost ready. Oh, I'm ever so nervous. I think their time has come. Right. We'll use these bars to steer our moles. Let's finish it already. I can't wait to test this thing. Me too. In the meantime, I'll check if it's all working here. Oh, what have we got here? Let's test it. <laughs> oh no, I'm sorry, Sammy. I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> I think the test is passed successfully. <laughs> well, in that case, it's time to present the new toy to Fluffy. Yay! Come on over. Good boy. Well, Fluffy, are you ready to hunt? One, two, yeah! Get it, boy! <laughs> <laughs> yes, go, go, go! How do you like it, Fluffy? Enjoying yourself? Yeah! Aww. What do you think, Sue? Will we be able to get some sleep tonight? I don't know for sure, but let's hope so. Well, okay. Never mind. Today I've learned what hunting instinct is and I think I got to understand Fluffy better. Good for you, Sammy. I'm not angry with Fluffy anymore. That's great news. Now it's time for us to say goodbye to the viewers. See you soon, guys. Be sure to give a thumbs up to this video if you liked it. Bye now. See you guys. See them racing! The first runner is our regular participant, Tammy! She's 
She's in her best shape and ready to race. And welcome our new racer, Tanoe. Tanoe's a bit nervous. Please support her. Today, we're up for a total hamptification. But which hamster will win the race? One, two, three, go! Our runners are off. Look at them go! Oh, wait. You uh, probably want to know how we made this awesome labyrinth for two hamsters. Well, I'll show it to you now. And then we'll find out who wins. Hi, guys! Today is the hamster race day! Hey, that was my line! Oh, sorry. I've just been waiting for you for so long! Well, I was just telling the hamsters what to expect. Guys, tell us in the comments who do you support, Sanoe or Tammy? Write a name and we'll know who wins in the end of the video. Then, let's start making our labyrinth. <laughs> we'll start with the base like always. And what's the base today? Well, since it's a hamster race, our labyrinth will be shaped like a hamster head. Ew, is it necessary to make a hamster head? That's a very good question. No, you can pick any animal or character you like. Even yourself, Sammy. Holy cannoli, that's awesome! A labyrinth shaped like me. <sighs> Give a thumbs up if you like this idea. Now, we need to cut out the hamster head along the outline. Guys, be very careful with sharp tools. Oh, with every second we're getting closer to the start of the race! I can't wait! By the way, while you were cutting out the base, I prepared the first pieces. Great, Sammy, thanks! Now we need to apply some glue to the bottom of each piece. And then we glue our pieces to the base. One and two right next to it. There! Oh, Sue! Are we going to play warriors today, too? Almost, Sammy. We'll use the skewers to create obstacles in the labyrinth. Oh, but I was already selecting a warrior name for myself. Guys, what do you think would suit me better? Sam the Brave Slime or Slime the Conqueror of Candy? Sammy, Conqueror of Candy. Don't forget we've got work to do. Yes, yes. I'll go get the next pieces. After we've poured the glue into the openings, we need to insert the skewers in there. And now we'll set the barriers. So kindly prepared by Sam. <laughs> We're setting them one by one, making a kind of a tunnel. Our hamsters do love tunnels. Hmm, but uh, isn't that too simple for a race? Don't worry, we'll fix that. We're going to install small barriers inside our tunnels to make the labyrinth more complicated. Oh, you need to be careful with these labyrinths. Yes, always remember about safety. Uh, what happened? I wanted to check on the hamsters and tripped on the wire. Now I really want to know what this wire's for. We'll take a piece of wire, cut, and a marker. Then we'll wrap the wire around the marker to get this handmade spring. Then we'll apply some glue to the spring and attach an eye. Ta-da! Then we'll glue the eye on the spring to the base. While I'm gluing the second eye and making revolving doors, you can check on our hamsters. Yay! They're probably missing me. <laughs> Guys, Sammy really loves our hamsters. If you like them too, subscribe to the channel to see even more hamster adventures. And now I've got this cute revolving door. We need two of them. Let's set them in place. Right here. These revolving doors are awesome! Better than before. I'm glad you like them. And the hamsters told me that you're going to need these pieces. Oh, our hamsters are wise. So, Sammy, how are our runners doing? Well, I'd say Hammy's a bit tense, but overall the participants are planning to win. That's great! The nose of our cardboard hamster is the finish. And these walls go all the way around it. Oh, this labyrinth is really something new. 
And if there's a nose, there should be cheeks. There, one and two. And a cute smile, which also makes another obstacle tunnel for our hamsters. Have you seen hamsters smile? If they saw you now, they'd smile. <laughs> Let's glue the teeth in place like this. What's that? These are small obstacles for the hamsters. You know, like for real runners in an obstacle course. Interesting. Sue, so, do you think I can pass all the hamster obstacles? <laughs> and more? I think it's better to leave that to our hamster, Sammy. <laughs> Fine, I'm not that interested. Sammy, will you help me on the other side? Of course! Always happy to help. Now we only need to glue the side walls. And, and, insert the signs with the names of our beautiful runners! <laughs> I prepared them in advance. Oh, that's pretty, Sammy. Give me a couple more minutes. There. Now you can insert them. Then we Then Hammy! We did good. Now we can start our hamster race! The show's gonna be amazing! And that's how we made our wonderful labyrinth. Let's continue watching the race! Our hamsters study the labyrinth. And they move forward. Sinoe! Come on! Good girl! And Hammy's off too! Huh. Hammy's moving confidently and slowly. It's a race, Hammy! Huh. Snowy's studying the revolving door. And she continues the race. She's so good at it. Oh, Hammy, uh, what are you doing here? Oh, she went back. That's against the rules, Hammy. That's better. <laughs> She decided to go back again. Look! Sinoe, she reached the finish! Well done! Oh, Hammy. Admit it. You've yielded. <laughs> Yahoo! The great hamster race is a success! And the winner is Snowy! Though both runners did well. I think they both deserve a treat. Well, it's their just dessert. Our participants will get a snack and then a long nap. They did so good. What about yeah. us? I think we should get a snack, too. Well, here you go. Am I a hamster to you? Guys, if you like our hamster race, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Bye-bye, guys. show that we waste too much time putting out food for Fluffy. Let me check. Let's see. Well, I can't argue there. But we can solve this problem. I know one way to pour the whole pack of cat food into the bowl at a time. Wait! I need to make new calculations. So, one time. That works for us. Let's go and you'll tell me what your idea is. Let's go. Hello, guys! Hello, everyone! To make our craft today, we'll need cardboard. Are you suggesting feeding Fluffy with cardboard? Some of your ideas seem a bit... odd. Your ideas are odd. <laughs> I'm going to make a new craft out of cardboard. What are we gonna do? A cat food dispenser. Wow, that is really awesome! But how will it help us to feed Fluffy more rarely? It will be more possible to put the whole cat food pack in it. So the bowl will be filled automatically every time when our cat takes some food. The food will simply go downward and end up in a bowl. Hmm, 
I see. And what is that? A wall between rooms? It seems like a house with tiny rooms. Quite cramped. Although, here I could put my bed. And I guess behind this wall we'll put some cat food. Hmm. Actually, that is really comfortable. You can live right next to cat food and fill the bowl any time the cat eats from it. Sammy, it's not a place for living. Uh, have you seen my piece of paper with measurements? This one? Yes, thank you. Well, well, these parts we've got already. The next thing is a slide. Food will go down this slide and reach the bowl. Yay, a slide! Did you make this for me because I like sliding? So thank you! Now I'm gonna run! Sam, stop it! You have a very important mission to do. Bring me an empty bottle. Mission accepted. Now we're gonna make a water fountain to automatically refill not just the food supply, but also water. To make it, we need a piece like this. Let's install it inside here. Mission accomplished! Thanks, Sam. In the bottom of our bottle, we're making a hole. Guys, be very careful with the drill. Ask an adult to help you with this step. Also, we need a bottleneck from another bottle. We'll stick the second bottleneck right here. Wow! This one is a perfect bottle for friends. You can drink together at the same moment. So hurry up! Let's pour some soda into this bottle and have a competition. Who can drink more? Boing! <laughs> <laughs> How will we know who drank more if we drink from one in the same bottle? No, Sam. This opening is needed to refill the water supply. And from the second one, it will flow into the bowl. <laughs> Blow through this tiny hole. I don't think it's comfortable. All water will just come out at once and finish quickly. Why do we even need a cap if it's holy? The water will flow through too which we set into the cap and put it on the bottle. Sam, could you bring me a container for water, please? Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. <laughs> Great, Sammy. We need this boat, except the water will not be outside the boat, but in it. Oh, no! Now this bottle takes all the room in my house. <laughs> it's hardly possible to use this structure as a house, Sam, because then Fluffy can eat you as well. Fluffy, eat me? Ugh, we're friends, right, Fluffy? Now we can cover the bottle and the section for food. I guess you made a mistake. The food will fall out through these holes! Nope. We will cover up the windows with transparent plastic, and it will be easy to see through them how much food remains. Oh, all right. Now everything is perfect. All that's left to do is set this wall right here. Done! Is that all? Wow, what a simple construction. And a great one. Guys, do you like today's craft? Write in the comments. Can you help me one more time? Bring the cat food, please. Of course, will do. And you guys, please write in the comments about your pets and their favorite food. Great, Sam. Give it to me. Now we're going to fill our dispenser. And here's a treat for Fluffy. Phew, this is such an awesome dispenser. We only need to add some water. Got it, got it, on my way. Here's the water. Perfect. Let's open our bottle and set a funnel. Uh, even this funnel reminds me of a slide. It seems I haven't been to a water park for a long time. Let's fill our bottle with water. Look, water is flowing to the bowl. Oh, no. Relax, Sammy. You've learned math formulas, but not physics. Water will fill the bowl till a certain level. Indeed, it stopped flowing. Now we only need to decorate our dispenser. Oh, yes. It's the most important step. Give a thumbs up if you think the same, guys. And look, through these windows, we will always see how much food and water remains. I think it fits our interior perfectly. Right, and it will save us a whole lot of time. Look, Fluffy is already here to try the new dispenser. Aw, I bet he loves it. Phew, we did a great job today. Fluffy, come here. So what do you think about your new feeder? We did our best with Sam. I think Fluffy approves. Yes, I'm sure Fluffy liked the dispenser. What about you guys? Would you like to have a dispenser like this at home? Leave us a comment and tell us what you think about this craft. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel not to miss our new crafts as well. Bye-bye!
be uh, so weird today. <sighs> Doesn't he want to run around a little? <sighs> ha! Here's the water. I'm so thirsty. No! I was revealed! Whoa, Sam. What are you up to here? I was watching Fluffy. He's weird today. <laughs> Sammy, what's so weird about him? Just an ordinary sweet furry cat. Ew, I totally can't understand why he doesn't want to play and run. Oh, Sammy, Fluffy's just a quiet type. But what if he's bored? Oh, that could be. I think I have an idea. Hooray! <laughs> Hi, guys! Today, we'll build a maze from plastic bottles for our dear Fluffy. That way, he'll have more fun. <laughs> guys, do you have any pets? Comment below! So, why is this a level 1 maze? Let's make a level 80 labyrinth! Sam, level 80 is very challenging. Let Fluffy start with the easiest one. And I would definitely manage level 100, but you're right, it's better to start smoothly. Huh. Wait, Sue, what's wrong with this maze? Well, it's not so easy to draw the maze by hand. I have a genius plan. Be right back. Guys, have you ever been in a real maze? Comment below. Hmm, what is he up to? Sue, I drew the layout using our laptop. It's faster, easier, and looks better. Oh, Sammy, you're a genius. Simply call me Sam. So here's the first level of our maze. Bottles, obstacles are marked with blue dots. And the walls. Sue, I consider it! Everything. What are we waiting for then? Let's start the craft. My flower greenhouse will serve as maze walls. Just look at this! Oh, it's not only pretty, but filled with fresh air. Yes, and it's also high barrier, so Fluffy won't jump out like it happened with our last maze. Anything else? No, nope, time to start. Let's place the bottles. Yay! And here we go. There are lots of bottles to deal with. So, almost done. <laughs> My camouflage is the best. Sammy? Oopsie! <laughs> Sam, I don't mean to disappoint you, but the water is transparent and I can see you. Oh no, so Fluffy saw me all this time! It feels like an aquarium, so much water around. So, here is the entrance to the maze. What about the exit? So, I don't want Fluffy to get stuck in the maze forever. Don't worry, Sammy, here's the exit. What the cannon? Go, Fluffy! You can do it! Sue, so, I think Fluffy's kinda scared, no? Uh, judging by the way he moves, he could be. Oh, I think he's stuck! But let me see what he'll do next. He's thinking hard right now, but uh, more likely he just refuses to go further. Oh, Sue, so it seems that Fluffy's too grown up for mazes. Yep, I guess so. I'm sure that our elusive ginger will conquer the maze. See you at the finish line! Sue, I have high hopes for ginger. Remember, he already mastered our super challenging maze, so this should be an easy peasy task. That's right, Sam. Look, he's already doing great! Oh! Uh, wait, wait, ginger, that's a dead end! Oh, he's a very smart boy, so this is no problem for him. <laughs> I know. That's because I trained him. <laughs> Sammy! We already had this conversation. Don't boast about things you never did. <laughs> <laughs> Let's better concentrate on Ginger, since he's already not too far from the exit. Oh, Ginger. I would actually already be at the finish line. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Mr. Perfect. But I have to admit that he's a good athlete. Look, look, almost there. <gasps> oh, Ginger, you did a great job. Come with me. Hooray! 
Captain Jerry the champion. Every champion deserves an award. Whoa, 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 Ginger! <gasps> Looks like this maze made you really hungry. <laughs> so we did great and built an amazing maze for our Ginger and Fluffy. Guys, try to build a maze for your cat or hamster. I'm sure they will like it. Give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel not to miss new videos. See you soon! <laughs>lived on the north of Eurasia. Today, that's Sweden, Denmark, and Norway. Oh, cold. Gradually, Vikings started settling almost the whole continent, from England and France to Russia. They went on so many sea campaigns. They were in Greenland, Iceland, and even Africa. Actually, Vikings were the ones to discover America 500 years before Columbus. I want that, too. Sorry, Sammy, America's already discovered. Oh no, I mean to conquer everything. I'll be the most fearsome Viking. Like this one? So don't be silly, how will I conquer lands looking like this? <gasps> Here, I want to be like this one. I need real armor. <laughs> A helmet! Why do you need to conquer all the lands? Well, it's for my descendants to decide. And now I need a helmet as soon as possible. But Sam, I don't think you understand. You see, it's not a hat. It's a heavy metal armor. See? So it's just what I need. Sammy, you don't. Neither land conquering nor fearsome horned helmets. But so I really do. I'll make an awesome warrior, you'll see. I never thought my best friend would be against my true calling. Sam, but I really don't know where to get such a helmet. Though... Oh, I think I have an idea. Yay! I'm gonna be a real Viking! Hi, guys! Will you go on a campaign with me? Write in the comments! Hey, everyone! Today, we'll be making a horned Viking helmet. I can't forge a real helmet out of metal, but I have something else in mind. Bring me lots of cardboard. Will do! We'll also need a ruler, scissors, and a cutter. Guys, be very careful with cutting tools. Ask an adult to help you with this craft. Here I am! And I am an adult if I'm helping you with the craft. As adult as you can be. So we're going to make the helmet out of light and sturdy cardboard. It'll be easy to wear it, but it'll be rather big. Huh. Well, I'm not little. Just imagine how many things await me. How many continents do you think I'll conquer? I don't even know. No less than a hundred. What do you think, Sue? Sammy, there aren't that many continents. And please step aside. Your mumbling's getting in the way. La la la, fine. I'll let you work. Now let's cut out our templates, like this. This kind of paper really helps to make perfect templates. How many continents are there? Six. Like the number of the parts for the helmet. Guys, Make sure the corrugated side of the cardboard is horizontal. We'll trace the templates onto the cardboard. What continents are there? Well, we have Eurasia, North America, then South America, and Africa. Oh, and of course, Australia, Antarctica. Now let's cut these parts neatly along the lines. Go nice and slow. This looks good. Which one should I conquer first? Sammy, why do you need to conquer them? I'm not even sure the helmet will fit you. Oh. That's because I'm a Viking. I need to build a strategy. Well, maybe you should start with Antarctica then. There are cute penguins and white bears there. <laughs> you won't need to fight them. You'll just become friends. <laughs> you keep joking and there's world history in the making. I'll go study the map. Think on the strategy. All right, Sammy. And meanwhile, I've cut out everything. <gasps> Look how neat they are. Guys, where would you like to travel? Which continent would you like to see first? Write in the comments. 
Now we need to run the cutter along the corrugated parts of the cardboard. We shouldn't go through the cardboard, just the upper layer. See? Just like this. Let's bend our cardboard to make the parts of the helmet more flexible. Like this. Look! It's my vote for sea campaigns! So you are going to conquer everyone. Well, I'm getting ready. How's the helmet going? We're going to glue it now. <laughs> Guys, apply some glue to the side of a part like this. Carefully. And place the side of another part to it. Then we press them well to make sure they hold. No! Let me help! <laughs> Thanks, sweetie. And we continue. Phew! I think I'm done. Look how great it is. It's ready. Time to set out. Wait, Sam. Let's add a few more details to make it more beautiful. Beauty is the last thing a warrior is concerned about. But you aren't just a warrior, Sammy. I'm sure you'll be a real leader. A very important role. That's right. So let's cut out a strip two centimeters wide from the corrugated cardboard. Like that. Um, you better keep it for now, Sam. It'll help me train! Okay, just be careful. And we'll measure and cut out two more very thin strips, about half a centimeter wide. Cut them very carefully. Keep our fingers safe. And try to make them as neat as possible, because they will be the decorations. Great! We have these two strips now. Now let's glue a wide strip at the bottom of the helmet wrapping around it. Let's apply some glue all over the perimeter of the helmet and glue our strip. There! And then cut off the excess. See, where do these strips go? You'll see. We'll glue them to the edges of the wide strip. Look, the strips should fit into each other like this. There! Doesn't it look great with decorations? It's great, yes. But something's wrong, Sue. What about the horns? And nothing else seems wrong? Uh, what? The size, for example? There's nothing wrong with it! Fine, let's make the horns, only bring me more cardboard. Anything for those horns. I wonder how Sam's going to wear this helmet. Here are the pieces you've prepared. I hope the horns will be very long. Thanks, Sam. So we're going to need quite a lot of strips. They have to be different lengths, but the same size, three centimeters. Now let's take a small piece and roll it into a tube. And then secure it with hot glue. Like this. Then I'll take a longer piece and wrap it around the first one. Make sure the first piece sticks out like this. Then continue adding the layers. Here comes the interesting part. We need to attach this piece at an angle. Look. And secure this piece with hot glue. Don't be shy with the glue here. It should hold really well. Now, we need to continue building the horn in the same way, making the rings and attaching them to the previous ones with hot glue at an angle. I think it's a great horn, though it's about three times larger than Sam. It's just the right size, more fearsome. Have you subscribed to the channel? Hit the button not to miss any of the crafts and have fun with us! Sammy, are you here? The horns are ready! Let's just attach them! Oh yeah! Just a bit more and I'll become the most fearsome Viking leader! Let's apply dots of glue all over the horn base. Three, four, five, six, seven... Yeah, that should be enough. And now, press the horn to the helmet. The horn is holding. But let's attach one more ring around the base to cover this gap. Carefully now, nice and slow. Oh look, I think it's much better now. We need to do the same to the second horn. There's no right or wrong way to attach the horns. Just use your imagination and make the helmet to your liking. <laughs> That's the fun part, right? Adding your own touch to the craft. <laughs> 
Ah, there. And the ring? Ah, Sam, take a look! Can't you see? It's a bit large for you. Doesn't matter. That won't stop me from conquering new territories. Put it on! All right, Sammy. Your word is my command. How's your morale? Well, it, 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 it's fine. Oh. Fine? You can live in it like a tent. What do you suggest? We couldn't have made it for nothing. Huh. I suggest finding someone it'll fit and accepting this someone to serve under your command. You're fearsome even without armor. My loyal comrades, who will go to battle with me? <sighs> Perhaps you? Huh. Or uh, you? <laughs> uh, what's wrong? Then you! <laughs> nope, something's still off. Huh? Oh yes! I should have figured it out right away! Cookie! Phew! I'm so tired. This helmet took much more time and energy than I thought. I can finally rest. <laughs> what? Cookie? Yahoo! So, look at my valiant war pug. Her name is Valkyrie, and together we'll conquer the whole world! Follow me, Valkyrie. Uh, come on! Uh, are you sure it's going to work, Sam? Uh, cookie? Uh, cookie? What are you doing? Oh, I don't think she likes the idea of being a Valkyrie. Oops, there goes the helmet. It's okay, Cookie. You're a fearsome warrior, even without the helmet. <laughs> oh well, we'll have to improvise. Guys, give a thumbs up to me and my Valkyrie! Enjoy our army of fans! Subscribe to the channel! See you in our new videos! Yahoo!